Hello and welcome back to Opskit. What I've got here is the Jet Boil personal cooking system. It's the, the flash version. There's a number of different versions available now, right? And I've got to say this one I find better suited to me. Right, it's the personal cooking system as I said. Right, it holds a litre of fluid, right? Um, although when you're actually boiling up it does recommend that you don't go above half a litre but having said that that's more than enough for anything that I ever need to use right um, what what we do is we just have a quick run through on the on the real uses for this I mean as you can see from the size of it I mean it's um, it's 180 millimetres tall right and I've got to revert to my piece of paper for this bit I'm sorry right and it's um, 104 millimetres in diameter now to put that in perspective, it's a military application that this is going to be used for. It will quite easily fit into a water bottle pouch. Right, um, it's absolutely ideal for those quick brew stops that we, we sometimes find ourselves needing. Um, enough waffle about it, let's have a quick look at it. I'm sure you may have seen videos on this before, right, but I just want to run through this because at the end of the day, it is just so useful. This comes with me absolutely everywhere. It's in the car, it's in the backpack, it's you name it, it goes everywhere, right, and it's used a lot. Right, well, what have we got here, right? Now, everything you're about to see here, with the exception of the fuel canister, comes as standard with it. Right, you've got the, the rubbery plastic heat-proof lid. You've got the pot support. We're going to that in a second, but that is was a real deal-maker for me, right, um, and I'll tell you why in a second. Right, then we've got the, the 100 gram jet boil canister in there. Right, we're going to the reasons why you should use jet boil. Right, some people may, some people may not want to, but the reasons why you should. Right, then you've got the cooker, oop, and the pot support. Now, just in case you're, um, you're interested, right, the, the pot support itself, in my opinion, is something that's worth using all of the time. Right, some people might disagree, right, if you're on a flat, hard surface, you might not need it, but to me, I'm just one of these people, I'm a bit of a, a funny bugger when it comes down to um, safety, especially with boiling water. Right, well, let's just put this together. I'll right, just take the top off that. That, that is worth retaining, that, that protects the thread on the top of the can. Right, now, here's your, your actual cooker. Right, things to bear in mind, this is the new version. If you've got the early version, you'll know the story about the actual um, ignition button. Right, well, this has been nicely tucked away. It's very robust now. This is the flame adjuster lever. And um, obviously, in the closed position, if you go and put your canister on there like that, you're not going to be able to get it out. Not saying that I've ever done it, well, maybe once or twice, but make sure you always flip that out before you put the can on. Right, um, sorry, cack handed. Right pop the canister on, just screw it on, make sure you don't cross thread it, right, just do that, make sure you've got the valve closed, I know it might sound daft, right, but has happened in the past, right, just do it up so it's firm, give it a little test, right, is there any gas escape, no there isn't, right, that's brilliant, then on goes your pot support, right, you can actually use this with bigger canisters, but the bigger canisters, they tend not to fit, um, in the cup so if you want to keep it all together right then it's the 100 gram canisters that you need right now I'm just going to quickly cover this the earlier versions of jet boil and I must admit I was one of the I was one when it first came out I thought myself what's the point you can only use the jet boil cup which at the end of the day you could right along come jet boil and they brought out this it's the pot support right it comes with the flash cooking system right you just pop these these serrated stabilizers out it locks on to the, the actual cooker itself and there you have it you can use any of your pot cooking pots your frying pans your kettles whatever you like on there right it's all because of this new pot support that comes with it it's been about for a while right if you've got the original um, jet boil I think you can buy this as an optional extra right um, but check it before you do just to make sure it's going to fit but we'll take that off because we're not going to use that I love the way it's got on there this side up. All right, it's very handy that, just in case you try to put it the wrong way. I don't think it'll fit somehow, but, but there you go. That's the pot support. Right, on the bottom of the cup, you've got a measuring cup. Right, it actually states on there one cup. 
Right, and there's two other measuring scales there. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but there you go. And you could also use this as a drinking cup if you wanted to. We'll pop that over to one side. <laughs> On the bottom of your actual cooking cup, this is the aluminium. Aluminium or steel? Not too sure what it is. Right, I know it's light. It's really light. Right, this is your flux ring in here. Now, this is where the magic happens. Right, I have never, and I've had some, some cookers before in my time, I have never come across a method of heating water that works so fast and efficiently as this. Right, but this again locks onto the, onto the actual cooker itself. But before we do that, just to show you on the top here, right, you need to be a little bit careful when you put this together, make sure you don't catch it right, but I've not managed it yet. In there you've got the ignition um, thing, whatever they call it, but, but it's there. So just bear that in mind when you pop it together. Right, inside the cup, now I doubt very much whether you can actually be able to read this, but halfway down on here, right, there's a scale on there, and it says on there, maximum safe fill, two cups, and that's to that line. Now that is in fact 500 mils. Right, so once it's in there and it's boiling away, that obviously means it's not gonna come up over the top. Right, but 500 mils will give you two cups, or roughly a mug and a half. Right, so if you're not making your, um, hot drinks, right, there's more than enough there. Right, but then pop it on, it locks on. Don't overdo this, because you're gonna to wanna to undo that once it's boiled. Right, the neoprene sleeve on the outside, believe it or not, that really works. I'm very skeptical of anything that lands up getting hot. And I must admit, when I first come across this, I thought to myself, are you really gonna be able to get hold of this? Yes, you are. Right, there's no doubt about that. Right, I'm just gonna turn this around, because I want this side on display, and I'll show you why. <laughs> the good thing about this, and it's, some people say, well, you don't really need it, but it is a handy visual indicator if you're not stood right beside this. This flash on the side here changes to a yellowy orange when it reaches boiling point, right, which is quite handy, right, um, and you'll see that in a second when we fire it up. Right, what we're going to do, right, we're going to put 500 mils of water in there, right, and um, we'll boil it up and see how long this takes. We just fill it up to that safe fill line. Yeah, that's 500 mils. Just pop that back over there. <laughs> and then we'll pop the lid on, but obviously you keep that on, it's gonna boil up even quicker. Right, now then, let's start this up. Just get the gas running. And there you go, first click. I've never had this misfire at all. Right, we just turn it up. We're gonna time it now. This, I've found on Jet Boil's website, they state two and a half minutes to heat 500 mils of water. Now, I must admit, I think you'll find that that's an average over the life expectancy of a, of a, a canister. The first few boils, right, will actually boil up to 500 mils in about two minutes, right, so when it comes down to it, right, that's quite an achievement, right, but while that's doing that, I'm going to waffle a little bit, right, um, <coughs> I'll just give you a few specifications on this. That's the 100, 100 gram canister, as I said, gas canister. It's a mix of um, isobutane and propane. Now. I don't really know my gases, I know what works and what doesn't work. And what I do know is, I've used other gas manufacturers' um, canisters on this. This boils quicker, so it seems to boil hotter. If you can just change the subject, you can just see this start to change to an orangey colour. That is how quick this is heating up, right? And literally in a few seconds you'll start to see steam coming from the top of that. I mean, this is just amazing, right, the, the, the speed of which this works. You can boil an average of 12 litres of water to one of these gas canisters. Now, obviously, it will differ slightly depending on ambient temperature, but I find that is about right. So that's 24 separate boil-ups like you've got here. Now, this is starting to steam here, and this is heating right the way up, right? So, you know, I mean, this is amazingly quick. It is quite a warm day today. It's around about 21 degrees Celsius at the moment. Right, there we go. That's boiling. It's shaking. You can hear it. Right, now that is that quick. 
right now if we just take that lid off look at it how quick was that now I didn't get a chance to time that right hopefully you can this is why I've done this live right so you can actually see how quick that um, how that quick that heats up but you just carry on talking for a second right one thing that you may be very very interested in is the actual combined weight of this now I haven't gone weighing things individually what I've done I've got the whole lot the a full canister the lid the pot support the stabiliser the cup the measuring cup that goes on the bottom Right, it is the whole lot together, and please bear in mind that's with a full gas canister, right? And it came in at 688 grams. Now that is nothing, right? In my opinion, it really is nothing at all, right? I'm um, very, very impressed with that, right? To say the least, right? Um, I love this uh, this idea here, right? The way it changes colour, right? Because of the speed that this um, this boils up, right? I must admit, I've been caught caught unawares right in the earlier days of this <coughs> oh I'll put it on I'll go and do something else and you turn around all of a sudden you see this bright orange glow at you and you're thinking oh my goodness right you know it's happened that fast right very very good indeed right um, when you want to take this off bearing in mind this is full of hot water right now this look you can grab hold of this this isn't an issue at all right it's very good obviously you've got to unlock it from the base please remember one thing the plastic bit is cool don't grab hold of the metal bit above. Right, and you just twist it, and off it comes. Right, and there's your water. Now, what are you gonna do with that? You could either make your brew in the cup, right, the, the lid itself, it's got a drink through hole. The hole in the middle is for the coffee press, right, the, the French coffee press. Now, I must admit, it's definitely something I'm gonna get. Should have got it at the time, didn't, unfortunately, but will be getting it without any shadow of a doubt. I do love my fresh coffee. Right, and like a fool, I think you can get one. Right, but there you go, not to worry. Right, but the top's got a, a drink through hole on there, so, and again, it doesn't get hot, so don't worry about the hot edge on the cup because you're protected from that by this. <coughs> Sorry. Now, what else can we do with that? Right, well, if you've got dehydrated meals, you can knock those up in there. Right, what I did get at the same time was the tele telescopic um, cutlery set. Great thing about this is it's nice and long for the depth of the cup. Right, works well. You've got a fork there. Right, we've got a spoon. Right, they lock out. Right, to get them back in, just push in that hole there. Right, you've got a spoon, right, which is brilliant. But the bit you really want to pay attention to is the spatula. And the reason being, I mean, everybody says, oh, I've got a lie handle, fork or spoon. This spatula, if you take a look at the actual shape of the end of it, this radius here, has been spe specifically designed to fit right in the corner of that cup. So if you're mixing anything, you've got to be able to get right in there, right, to make sure that, that nothing gets stuck and left behind. Right, the bigger radius, I haven't tried it, but I do understand that that is the same as the radius in the bigger pans, right, maybe the frying pan, definitely the cooking pot. There's a one and a half and I believe a three litre cooking pot. Don't take my word on that. Please check Jet Ball's website, right, before you go ordering online, just to make sure that you're ordering the right thing. But that is worth its weight in gold. And again, right, it's long enough to get in there and do the job. Combined weight, these are so incredibly light. The three utensils together weigh 37 grams. Again, that is nothing. Right, now, the other little thing, today, right, beautifully still day, and I've had to select this day today because we've had a lot of wind recently, a lot of rain. And I wanted to get a good still day so because it messes with the audio on the video. I've had this outside in some very high winds, right? And this is so windproof, it is beyond belief. It astonishes me how windproof it is. I mean, the, the actual cooker itself, it churns out 1,300 watts of power. So, I mean, it's a very powerful cooker, right? Um, and the way that the it all fits together, and obviously you've got the base there right it just really does protect it from the wind so very very impressed with it now one last thing right that um that i got with this i've always been a little bit um funny when it comes around to getting rid of these empty fuel canisters right i'm not going to take it apart right um because it's still obviously hot but it's i, I think it's quite a new device it's it's called the crunch it Right, I hope you can see that there. Yes, you can. So it's, I've got the sun in my eyes, so I can't really see too well. But what this is, 
It's quite an ingenious device, right? I mean, like I say, it's always been a bit of a problem. Like, what do you do with these empty gas canisters? Right, um, I had a friend who worked at a, um, a recycling centre, right? And he said that his biggest fear, right, when they start moving on steel cans or whatever, people are going to put aerosol cans or pressurised cans in there. Right, um, what this actually does, um, it screws down on the thread at the top of the can, right? And if you screw it down so it's firm and it stops, right, there's a venting hole there and a little spike in here. Right, now that actually allows the, any residual gas inside the canister, right, to vent completely. And once it's finished any hissing, right, you've got this protective cover there. You pull that off and there's a spike on here. Right, and what it recommends that you do, right, is that while this is still attached to the top of the can, push this down and it punches the can. They recommend that you do it three or four times so it's quite clear that it's, it's actually been vented. And all that then makes it pretty well perfectly safe to dispose of in with your steel cans, right? Um, you might want to check the local uh, rules and regulations on recycling, right, just to make sure you're not infringing anything. Um, but at the end of the day, right, it does do its job, right? It works very well, and it makes a potentially explosive can in a recycling container safe, right? And in my opinion, worth every penny of it. Very, very cheap. Right, I can't remember the price of this, but just check online, right? You'll soon find out. Right, I hope you find that this review has been useful. Um, there's one other thing that I will say, right? I use a lot of ration packs, and this is a perfect means of heating them. Right, the other glorious thing is, <coughs> excuse me, once you've obviously heated your ration pack, you've still got half a litre of water. Right, you might want to warm it up a little bit to turn it into half a litre brew, but at the end of the day, it's still there. So, great overall um, cooking device, love it to bits, it's not expensive, right, um, and it's going to give you years of service. If you've got any questions at all, please drop me a line, right, um, if I don't know the answer, I'm sure I'll be able to find someone that does, right, at the end of the, the, uh, the video as normal, right, you will find uh, Jet Boyle's web address, right, I'm sure they will assist if you've got any questions, but I mean, by all means, feel free to fire them off to me. Right, um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It's got to be more reviews come up in the near future. Right, um, enjoy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.